Hello and welcome to another episode of ZNZ. My name is Z. And I am Zed. <laughs> and today we're going to be talking about 3D model sites. If you have a 3D printer, where do you find models? Beyond the Benchy. Beyond the Benchy. You can print a Benchy, but I only print Benchies for speed tests, apparently. So, I don't print Benchies at all, so What happens you when you don't want to print a Benchy? And print cool uh, things like yeah. this over here. Where do you find or, them? Or this right here. Yeah, you have to know where to find them. So, uh, Austin, I have a question for you. When you started 3D printing, um, what did you, what were you, where um, were you looking for, for files? Thingiverse. Thingiverse? 100% Thingiverse, okay. because in college, I had a bunch of friends who 3D printed, and even in high school, I had someone who went to a special, like, um, technical thing, and they had a 3D printer, and I asked for a 3D printed Lego. So I went on Thingiverse. That was, like, the coolest thing ever. You got to browse all the models. So that was my first uh, experience, and I built up quite the collection on Thingiverse, too, when I first started roughly a year ago from now. Um, and then quickly switched over to uh, printables when everyone else did. Yay! Speaking of, <laughs> we have um, um, Nate in chat who printed my first 3D printed object. All it's probably right. somewhere around. Um, for me, I was really fortunate because I sort of had a little bit of guidance uh, from people. So uh, I was around, but I was around when it was still called Prusa Printers. When it, and then I was around when it started to be called Printables. And I did look on um, Thangs, Thingiverse, and all those, you know, like all those other sites. But but I started out um, pretty fresh. And um, yeah, I discovered pretty quickly that there's websites that like will have models that have not been tested and that's actually something before we get started with different sites i do okay. want to I, I i actually have a little like i have a little rant are you ready for a rant i know uh, yeah a liz rant okay it's better than a grant rant okay. apparently i understand that there are people that design models and they aren't able to print everything that they design that's fine. I understand that. But when you go to a website and you go to look for a model and everything is a render or, or, you know, like all of them are renders. Yeah. For me, because of my experiences with printing some of those things, I'm not going to print it. I'm not going to download it. I'm not going to print it unless it's like major, major, major. Um, if you are integrated in communities enough or even someone like red dad steve who does all the looney tunes things i found out that he doesn't even have a he doesn't even 3d print but he gets people to test the models out for him oh, really and that's yeah and so he shares he shares those huh. but i yeah i have a big problem with with renders the other thing that i have a problem with is if you've downloaded a file at this stage in 3d printing you should know where you got it from, who created the file, who created the model, and give them proper credit. So we'll talk about that a little bit later, but that's that's another thing where it's like, keep track. Um, some people, like me, just put everything in downloads and then say, oh, I'll sort them later. But yeah, other people, they will, they, will, they will organize it. We've talked about that before, too. Yeah, but, um, it's always worth talking about because yeah. you always need to sort this stuff. Yeah. So, so um, before we do that, why don't we talk about what we've been printing this week? All right. So speaking of untested models, yeah, um, this has zero makes on printables. I googled it. I was looking for some type of like birdhouse thingy, and this caught my eye. I was like, "Huh, you know what? This is kind of neat. I like that how it's, a... uh, you know, it's a, a a nice model. Like it looks really good. It's very detailed." No, okay, there's some supports, but they're pretty easy mm -hmm. supports. It all comes apart, like this top just comes right off. Um, I glooped on the windows and door. This whole thing comes right off. This base can screw down into a platform. I'm actually designing um, some type of bracket to pole mount this. So this is all printed in Polyterra, and we'll see how well it lasts outside. Yeah, of it's a fun bird feeder. From, from here. So it's and it's a neat you're model. Give that as a as a Mother's Day gift. 
yes, this is going to be a Mother's Day gift. Um, I'm going to do another combination of colors for another family member if it works out well. But um, that no, is, this is all... that is that is the actual filament. Yep, Polymaker Polyterra. Uh, this is the muted green and then the muted white. I think those two work really well for kind of like mm -hmm. retro or designs like this. So and there's, I'm very there's happy some really, this yeah. There's some really good bird feeder slash bird houses on, on uh, printables that I've seen. Yep. All right. I guess because I was working on this pre-stream, uh, 3D <laughs> Printy just released this today and I've already started assembling and printing, but this is a new kind of use up your scraps of filament model. And you can print off different sections and different sizes and go crazy. So it's like a little fidget toy slash ball maker and complex shape maker. It's kind of cool. We'll I'm looking be, forward to remixes of it. Yeah, and we'll link that in the in the description for sure. For me, of course, this uh, th th there were a couple things that happened last week. One was, of course, we had May the 4th. So Fixum Dude had a new model out which is the Star Wars Fang Fighter. And I printed it a few times. So this is in the, um, the silk quartz pink from Polly Baker. And this is the, what is this one? Neptune. Mm, so I printed nice. these and these are on printables. This week, uh, if you're part of the, um, I guess if you're, you're part of the Commonwealth, uh, we got a new, our, our king was coronated, so Charles was Charles had his coronation, so we now have King Charles. Well, I mean, we had him for like a while, but um, Bugman One Hundred and Forty did a, a Charlie Bear, so it's I did this in the uh, Polymaker uh, Sovereign, which is like the purple gold, and then I just did one in gold. Um, I printed him smaller than than he's supposed to be so his scepter broke but that's okay he's really cute uh, Look at, and the detail on the crown is just gorgeous and also you know celebrating like british things or whatever <laughs> uh i added some really fun racing stripes i think it, this is the slate blue and the poly both polymaker and the polymaker uh starlight neptune um, I did 3D Printy's tea box, and it's the shutter tea box. I did the small version. Beautiful clean print. I already put tea in it. You'll know nice. that's David's tea. David's tea. Nice. I love David's. And He's uh, loosely, I love but... this. Yeah. Uh, I'll be printing more of these. And I actually just printed this is going to be sent to my friend Cosmina. So there is a space for a, a little nameplate. And. Uh, yeah, I love this. It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah the stripe, the stripes Actually, keep the tea fresh. I really like the idea of adding customizable plates and stuff that are stuff that you can clearly gift. You can just print out insert and then put yeah. in Crucia slicer, use a text tool, and then bam, customize. It's awesome. Yeah, and what I did, um, I'm not going to take it apart, but what I did is I, I just did a filament swap um, halfway because these are two halves that come together and I did a filament swap for fun. So, yeah. And of course, this is available on printables.com. Yes. So, this is available on printables.com. What what is printables? Okay, I guess we'll we'll do this one first, right? Sure, cuz we okay. always talk about printables. Uh, maybe we'll explain <laughs> why we use printables and yeah. kind of what it is. Um printables is a um a site where you can find 3D printing files, SDLs, what else um, they do they, you can upload whatever types of 3d printing files that you want um, up to print uh, on onto printables it's hosted uh, by Prusa so it used to be called prusaprinters.com but um, uh, yeah and printables is a site where you can locate lots and lots of files um, some of the features that I really enjoy about printables are the contests not uh, you can it, it does give you uh, a little bit of um, a runway for your creative juices gives you something to sort of if you're someone that likes to design things or even beginning design things it gives you uh, something 
a purpose to, to do things, but I actually find a lot of ideas of things to print based on the contests. And yeah. um, it's not just the winners. I sort by makes and, 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 uh, and mm -hmm. yeah, I'm able to find things, um, find lots of things. So I like these. And, In fact, for the contest specifically, like if I'm looking for something um, uh, like the tea organizers, right? I can sort by, actually that's the one right there. Um, I can sort by uh, likes, makes, views, rating. So if I want to sort by rating, this is a community rating for the files. The winner yes. isn't always the top community rated. So like this thing right here wasn't actually part of the contest. Like it wasn't a winner, but that looks kind of cool. A Rolodex for teas. Mm -hmm. Like what the heck? That That's pretty dang cool. So um, you might find extra stuff by going through these contests. And that's why I really like the contest because they allow you to see a lot of things that you just wouldn't look to think for or uh, think yeah. to look for. Yeah. The other thing so. that I really like, or there's several things I really like about printables. One is the way that you can organize things into collections. So a lot of the time you'll be browsing and you'll be like, mm, I might want to print that later. I think I have something like 36 collections now. So yeah. I have Star Wars, I have Christmas, I have birds, I have, um, you know, uh, Gridfinity, I have organization, um, all of those. And um, it's a good way to uh, sort of access those sort of things. And you're sharing our collections there. Yep. Um, this is my collections. I like the, I like to create one for holidays when there's a lot of stuff that's very specific to a certain time that you might lose otherwise. Mm -hmm. um, I created a, uh, a collection for that and all kinds of other, you know, other things as well. You can also follow someone if you really enjoy their the models that they've made. You can follow them. This applies yeah. to different websites too, but. Uh, you can follow them and then when they have a new release if you go to the community tab you're able to see if you have yeah. lots of friends that are also in the community when you go yeah Sky. when you go to the community tab you can see their makes and makes are another thing that's really cool because with uh printables there is incentive for you to share the models that you've created you get what are what they call prusa meters Oh, there's, there's someone there. K2 Kevin. Um, you get, what? yeah, you, you get Prusa meters. So with Prusa meters, oh, world's greatest coffee. Yeah. That's Kevin. Why collection. is it world's greatest coffee? So you ask. Right, whatever. Oh, someone's already, someone's made a, a bobblehead for that thing already. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Wait, so with like Prusa meters, the heck? why don't you click on your Prusa meters? Okay. Yeah. Prusa meters. Oh my, that's all you have? Oh, you cashed yours I, in. I cashed mine in, plus I, I don't actually publish a lot of my makes. I'm very bad at taking images and I'm putting very on printables. Good. I'm very yeah. good. Okay. So with, uh, with Prusa meters, when you upload models and as the models get certain levels of downloads, um, you get points. If you, uh, and then also if you share things that you have downloaded um, and give them a rating and, and share your make, you get Prusa meters for that too. Yeah. And yeah. so you get a max of a hundred Prusa meters a month for, um, for things that you have made. So that's about 10 models and then, uh, Last pretty much the sky's the limit. Okay. For subsectors birthday. Yeah. Um, but pretty much the sky's the limit for, for sharing models that you've made and there's different levels of, of rewards. And we actually have someone in chat that has earned enough Prusa meters that um, uh, to, to uh, earn a Prusa mini. That's Fixum Dude. And there's a couple people that have been able to do that. But you could also get filament, uh, t-shirts, hats, hoodies. The hoodie? The hoodie's really cool for... Uh, it's like a really yeah. nice hoodie. Just be aware that this isn't a free something you get sent to your house. You do have to pay for shipping. Yeah. So depending on where you live, uh, just keep that in but mind. Absolutely a great incentive. And also yes. if you, if you uh, participate in the contests, 
and you win the contest, you are mm. awarded more proofs and meters, or sometimes you're you're awarded uh, bigger prizes, like uh, actual spools of filament or uh, or printers. So, and we actually have people that we know that have won printers, including uh, I believe it was Retro Maker. He won a proofs and mini. Biggest that is pretty cool. <laughs> So, See, like stuff Austin, like this. This is where Austin I, gets really distracted. <laughs> I okay. get very distracted because I browse so, the contests and yes. I see all these cool things. So this is one they of the reasons have... why I like to use printables personally. Yes. So they they do have a yes they do have a limit on what you can cash in for, but we'll see what happens in future. The more that you mm -hmm. participate in this, another website that has a lot of participation from model designers um, and has now i think weekly contests is thangs so thangs.com and on thangs um their site is set up a little bit different but yeah you you're able to um to download models save them to collections you're able to follow um follow designers uh they also i believe send out they can send out weekly emails yep when letting you know new models uh, or you can ask me notified um, and at some point I do want to have a conversation with John from Thangs. I know that they're going to be changing some things because, uh, some Thangs, because, <laughs> uh, that's one of my problems with the site. Exactly what you see right there. I have a hard yeah. time navigating the site. And when I go to download files, a lot of the time they zip them and yeah, yeah. but aside from that, we have a lot of, a lot of really cool models there and again they support their creators in in lots of different ways too like the model designers yeah the cool thing about things and one of the main reasons why i started using it is for their search function i can search something let's say uh like a tea holder a tea holder and it'll search all websites that are linked up to it so you can see it searched thingiverse um it searched on printables, you know, there's, they searched tea light holders apparently, but you can find all things on here. So if you're trying to find okay. something very specific, like I'm looking for like a, a, a lobster model, lobster or something like that, which I've actually been wanting to. You're to from Maine. Nice it's lobster. 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 Yeah. You know, a rock <laughs> lobster. Um, so like here, I got a couple on Thingiverse. Maybe there actually isn't a good model on printables. So if I was just searching on mm -hmm. there, then um, it is what it is. So yeah, so I can click on here and it brings you right to Thingiverse where um, I might print this model now. <laughs> yeah, and there's there's yeah. plenty of other websites. We are gonna list the, le the, the websites um, in the description because there are a lot. Of course. Um, and we could go on forever. <laughs> um, like there's, there's, uh, and, and I will say some of the sites have, um, both free and paid models. An example of that. Oh, there's a swatch truck. Yeah. An example of that would be my mini factory. So my mini factory has, um, has a lot of paid models. And the interesting thing about my mini factory is, you know, if you want to want, want a one off of something, if you see something that a designer has made, you think it's really cool. You want a one off like flexi factory. <laughs> yeah. Example. Like flexi factory. You can just like buy one. And, and sometimes that grants you the license to have that for commercial use, or it's just, just for you to have. The other thing would be the other thing it does for you though, is if you see something like flexi factory, you realize, hmm, maybe I'd like to have everything that Flexi Factory makes, um, uh, or I'd like to have the ability to have it um, as a commercial license. Uh, so you can sell them at craft fairs or on Etsy or or whatnot. Then you can either um, become a full supporter. I think Flexi Factory might have an option there, or you can become a patron. Yeah, right here. And there license, are ten dollars a month. Oh, that's not yeah. bad at all. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, so um, there's on sites like my mini factory and and uh, there's a few other ones. You are able to do a subscription to to someone, but also, um, like I mentioned, uh, Patreon is a big one. Um, so you can support 
model designers directly on Patreon. And there are different tiers. And when it comes to something like Patreon, it's a great way to support designers and also get exclusive access to their models. You also get access to their archives. Um, you're able to interact with the designer. Uh, sometimes they actually give you the opportunity to request or suggest models. Um, depending on the tier, you might have a commercial license to be able to, to sell the models. And um, a lot of them will give you access to their Discord. And it's kind of funny because through my support of Wexter, for example, I have access to his Discord and I've made a whole bunch of friends. And some of them I've met in real life. So <laughs> I yeah, paid for my turns friends. Out People that, you know, share similar interests and models uh, that view, maybe they also share other things in common. So it's a great way of yeah. meeting people for sure. Yeah. So that's that's one of the things that um, that is really, you know, it's, it's, it's a great way to support someone. The other thing you can do is if someone designs models, um, if you go to their profiles on sites like printables or, um, you know, uh, things or whatever, uh, there might be a button to their PayPal or mm -hmm. to coffee or something like that. And you can support them in that way too, by giving them a little tip, thanking them for, for making their models. If they have social media, make sure you follow them. First of all, when you follow them on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all of those sites, I love clock spring. Um, yeah. when you follow them on those sites, uh, you'll be able to see their new models and again, interact um, but it also um, gives them that extra boost because if you think that they're great, everyone should. Yeah, some people don't though. So this was someone that I actually uh, didn't realize that they had like a Twitter account because they didn't post it in their profile. Um, so I had to like, you know, one day I randomly searched it like, oh, wow, this person has a Twitter. So just keep an eye and... You know, search for the designers you like. They probably post stuff um, other on other platforms. But speaking of other platforms, we also have a couple more. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go down my list. These are some that I'm a little more unfamiliar with. So there is CG Trader. What can you tell me about this? I don't know anything about CG Trader. <laughs> it okay. was... Um, okay, I will. I will explain why I don't know. Uh, when I started 3D printing, I created sort of an open source 3D printing 101 document, um, which I will link and I've, and people contributed to it. So they, they actually, um, under things to, um, under things to design people, uh, or th way, where it places to find models, they added that to it. So that's why I have that. Um, we talked about my mini factory. Another one is cults. Um, cults again is is a another site I believe is everything on cults paid I think I think cults uh, is there's one. definitely free stuff because I can go to let's okay. say uh, home and I think you can sort them okay okay you so all cults designs. is another one um, so you, there's a filter by free so it's a mainly okay. it, I think it's very okay, mixed cults has a, a, okay it's mixed too okay yeah See, I, I, uh, I don't visit a lot of them all the time because I have, um, I have lots of friends that design models. I support people on Patreon and then they have contests too. Yeah. Oh, they have, see, we learned something new. Um, but they actually give a cash prize. Interesting. Ooh. Interesting. Nice. So if you're looking to make a little bit of money and you're a designer, maybe check out cults. Mm-hmm. All right. Moving on uh pin shape another one that was linked over another place to find 3d models and again if you're looking for something very specific you might want to bookmark all of these just for that one case where mm -hmm. i just i need this one model and i don't want to have someone design it custom and it probably exists and maybe things doesn't search that platform so it might be worth looking uh interesting screw on end cap for rat rig and open build like a 2020 extrusion end cap <laughs> which is free there you go so yeah that's a site um stl finder i have not used this at all no no 
I so... didn't. I, I, I haven't either. So. <laughs> and there's, there's, there's actually quite a few other websites and I will list more of them um, where it might even be a company that, uh, that has a listing of their specific parts that you can download and, and reprint. Um, I know that someone that's sort of a great resource in the community, Krusty, he gave me one here, which I didn't link. And it was uh, McMaster. And so they have CAD yep. models, for example. So I'll just throw that link here. I also have Yegi, which is another. Uh, yeah, Yegi's another one. This. Interesting. It's like a, a connectable model. See, again, I like browsing random sites because even <laughs> different websites have different kind of themes. On this episode of Austin episode. Gets Lost. <laughs> yeah, this is a very good episode for me. Because <laughs> uh, there's too many cool things everywhere. Yeah. Way too many so, things that are cool. And we'll be we'll be linking we'll be linking all of these so you'll have access to uh yeah. to what we found. Yeah. Um so I was sort of going on a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of a rant earlier. There is something that that I think both of us feel f fairly strongly. We both design models. We yes. both have. Um you can of course, check. Uh, both of us have them on printables. I put some things up on things just, just as an experiment. Um, but when you print something that someone has designed, um, I don't like you just, I don't like it when people just go on Twitter and basically say, or, or on people's discords and things like that, and just be like, look what my, look, Ma, look what I made. And that's it. Yeah. Um, the best thing, I guess, the best thing that you can do to thank someone, especially someone who's created something for free, has given instructions uh, and put in all the details and all the work, is you can say, you know, I printed this, uh, this tea box from 3D Printy, so tag him uh, and say, uh, this is in Polymaker Stone Blue and... Neptune, a starlight Neptune, uh, and then link to the file. So I said, you know, from printables, it's, it's just, it's a sign of respect and, uh, some gratitude for, for something like this. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's etiquette. I think, you know, like this is, this is, uh, from daddy Wazzy. You can find it on things and I would link to it from things on things. Yeah. And I would say this is Sparta 3d prismatic uh pink yellow filament you know that's that's the kind of thing that you do it's sort of a, a respectful thing to do so what i typically do my process for sharing a model and why i generally don't share models that much um i'll do one of two things one i'll just share a picture uh like mm -hmm. on usually on discord etc i'll share what i'm working on um and then if someone has a question i can follow up and you know say okay this is this 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 and this but when I'm going to post a picture of something like the birdhouse or, you know, like these models from my K3D, I will mm -hmm. take a good picture of it, not just a snapshot next to all my screws. Um, yeah. Take a good picture, maybe even some minor editing on the picture. I will post it to Twitter. I feel like that's still a pretty good 3D mm -hmm. printing social media. I also print it or post it on the... Um, sharing models sections on different discords. So, for example, the Polymaker Discord, whenever I'm printing something in Polymaker, I will typically throw it over there or even other brands as well. And then um, I will hopefully remember to post it back onto printables or wherever else I got it at the same yeah. time. Yeah, I'll give an example. I'll, I'll give you an example of something that I've posted recently. So, this is the Eastman Vader. Uh, and also fix some dudes BD1 models. I used my light box. I did a little bit of photo editing. You know, there might have been a little, you know, stray piece of filament or something that needed to be touched up. I touched it up a tiny little bit. Um, I made it into a square image just so it's nice and clean. And um, the other thing that you can do when you're sharing 3D prints on something like Twitter is you would take a picture. Now that's on printables. So printables 
kind of compresses the photo. But the other thing you can do, if you don't want people to see all your layer lines or whatever, is you actually can either, you can either save that one that from printables or you do a screenshot and that's what you share to something like Twitter. And that makes the image look really clean and, and nice. And uh, also if you, if you mess up someone's model, um, maybe don't share it. And if you haven't, yeah. uh, you know, and if you, or if, if there's a problem with the model before you go and give a rating, a low star rating, contact the designer or read the comments or double check that you didn't make a mistake yourself mm -hmm. or use the wrong filament. Like for example, with this Charlie bear, I printed it a lot smaller. I didn't use proper support. So his scepter broke. I'm not going to blame Bugman for that. And also yeah. when I posted the picture, I, I glued the scepter back. I had the scepter back on oh. and I Photoshopped the glue lines. You know, like I, I printed this out for uh, Star Wars Day and it came out really mm -hmm. nice, except I didn't have enough swish in my build plate and it, this part came out. So this all looks pretty bad, but the mm -hmm. other part, the main section looks really good. Yeah, I didn't share this it, because yeah. I was, you know, obviously yeah. I'm not going to share this with anyone like no one else is ever going to see this. <laughs> Except for everyone and, watching this. And a lot of the time when you print something wrong, keep in mind that the person that has designed the model, especially if they have put pictures of the model up and there are hundreds of ratings or even tens of ratings, then user error is usually part of it. <laughs> it could be. And, yeah. and honestly, uh, for things like printables, if you're not going to rate them five stars, don't rate them at all. That's yeah, my opinion. Honestly, I, that that goes for any anywhere in the world. If you're gonna give a, a rating, uh, if you're gonna give less than five stars, it might actually hurt the company in one way or another. Give them private feedback. Try to resolve it with them, unless you feel like they actually deserve it. Um, yeah. And a lot of the so. time, if you need help, like I said, you can contact the designer or read the comments, or come to somewhere like Maker Deck and say, "I'm really trying to print this. What's the best thing to do?" For the longest time, when I when I was trying to print. Um, the articulated items i started out first of all i didn't have enough squish and i was printing too fast so i didn't have you know good good enough layers to uh to uh, create a nice model so that's that's just something to consider the other thing that you need to keep in mind with any model that you download from the internet first of all oh one thing i didn't mention um one place that you can look for models and sometimes you can buy models are from places like Etsy and and uh, and eBay. Be a be very uh, be a very savvy consumer, because a lot of the time yeah, on sites like Etsy, they're actually free models from other websites, or they're stolen from someone's Patreon. So be really careful with that, uh, unless it's something that you pay for someone to design for you. Um, just be be super super aware of that. The other thing to keep in mind is licensing. So there's all different types of licenses. I don't think we're going to get into the weeds with that today, but no. some it's things It's important to note. Yeah. Some things are are available for commercial use, some things are available uh, to have remix, some so things For example. Yeah. You're going to um, show my swatch truck right here which mm -hmm. um, I do give recommended print settings for this test always look to make sure to see if there is a print setting section in fact I give a whole essay on this but at the bottom mm -hmm. here um, I actually have to change this because it is not available for, for commercial, commercial use, use. I, I thought I had that correctly go. but um, yeah so that's that's another issue <laughs> do a little bit of background checks because I uploaded this and I uploaded it with the wrong license this was designed in Onshape. I do not pay for Onshape. I cannot sell models that ah. I develop in Onshape. So it's not available for commercial use. Also, always click this sharing without attribution thing. You don't don't just allow people to take your model and do whatever they want with it. Make sure that they're sharing the the time and effort that you put into making a model yeah. like this. So and yes, to point there that is. Out. There's always going to be people that will copy an idea and, and whatever, but 
And also, you know, so, like, for example, if, if a new movie comes out and someone creates a bust and someone else creates a bust, that that's bound to happen. But um, also, yeah, be be aware. Like if uh, a lot of the time, that's actually another thing that you need to think of. Um, but this is something more if you're designing. And we talked about that last week is um, if you found a model, for example, like this 3D printed tea box and I wanted to double the size, you don't have to share that that remix no. um, on printables unless you think everyone's going to absolutely love this i know for for i don't know i know for sure that 3d printing does like when people he does like when people um do remixes of his models but just just be mindful that the amount of work that someone put into it and if you just decide to like double the size or something like that that is not necessarily a remix and again keep uh you know uh, pay attention to the uh definitely pay attention to the license and and the permission so yep so i think that's just about it so yeah. we've covered a bunch of the different websites that you can find 3d models on some stuff to look for when you download them um what you can do with them how to share, to share them. them yep so. oh the other thing the other part of etiquette that i should mention is if you're a patron for someone um, that doesn't give you the permission to share the file with all of your friends. Mm, no, so that's any any that's, paid model, any yeah. paid model that you download. It is your model and your model only. It's kind of like the old uh, VHS tape intro, like uh, do not you know, copy this movie or illegally dis distribute it. That's the same thing. Mm -hmm. It really is. So just don't do it. Mm hmm. Yeah, so as I, as, as mentioned, we are going to list a whole bunch of websites in the description of this YouTube video. And if you have others to add, feel free to, to let us know. And if you want to add to my document, I'll link that as well in the description. Awesome. Well, make sure to like and subscribe to Maker Deck over on YouTube. And if you want to catch these live, we are streaming at twitch.tv slash zombie hedgehog. It's a lot of fun over here. We have a pre and post mm -hmm. show. People are chatting in chat and we can read messages, etc. So thank you guys all for tuning in today. Yeah. It's and also Z and Z Z and Z show. Z and Z and Z and Z. Z, and Z, and Z. <laughs> <laughs> also, Zombie does stream during the week on Zombie Hedgehog. And I am course, now starting yeah. to stream a little bit on on uh, on Tesla's. And uh, we'll post links to that yeah. down in the video description. Oh, and this Friday, this Friday, we are going to be celebrating something really fun yeah yes it is it is my birthday this friday so if you're watching yeah. this this week uh make sure to tune into my channel we'll have a little bit of fun yeah i like to have fun have some giveaways and lots yep. of excitement all right this was a z and z and zod and zoo yep we're signing off let me try to find the exiting thing and my name is z I am Zed. Merci beaucoup et à bientôt. Bye. There you go. This. There you go. Is that right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can't take you anywhere, even your own house. <laughs> I know, right? And I you read minds with that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. You're thinking about uh, subscribing to Zombie Hedgehog on Twitch. Oh, yeah. You weren't at Earth. He, uh, no. he had his his bionic leg there. I usually so, there don't like go. see people below the waist on on Twitch or during voice <laughs> chats. <laughs>